Okay, here I am outside, and uh, I'm going to show you how to use our new knowledge of similar triangles and um, corresponding sides of similar triangles to find the uh, measurement that we might not be able to find directly. So you are going to have your own thing to measure, but I'll show you what I'm going to okay, measure. So we're back. And this is a telephone pole out in front of my house. And you can see that it's tall, taller than uh, I'm going to be able to measure. But what we have on the ground is that this telephone pole casts a shadow. Now I'm going to go stand closer to the telephone pole. And you can see that. I also cast a shadow. So since we can't measure the height of the telephone pole directly, we can measure the height of the shadow because it's on the ground. So you're going to need a measuring device like that. Okay, so I'm going to Set the end of the measuring tape here. I'm showing you how to do this one person because you might be doing this alone, but if you can get somebody to help you, that's even better. So you can see I have the end of my measuring tape. At the end of the shadow and I'm measuring right up to the base and it looks to be 16 feet so I remember that measurement 16 feet and then you just need to stand anywhere and measure the height or the length of your shadow you want to do this at the same time, obviously, because you want that same angle of the sun. So, you look down and that's right around four feet is my shadow. So we have 16 feet and we have four feet. And you can probably do this in your head right now, but we're going to go back to the drawing board and do the calculations. Okay, so here we are back at the drawing board and we're going to use the measurements that we took outside. So let me just start by saying um, your job is going to be to measure uh, the height of whatever you can find around your house where you can be safe and socially distant from people. If you can go outside onto the street and find a tall tree or a telephone pole or something in your yard, your house, your apartment building, um, the key is it can't be something that you could have measured directly or that kind of takes the fun out of it. Uh, you also want to make sure you pick a time of day where it's casting a shadow in a place where you can measure that as well. So hopefully uh, that coincides with your um, sleep schedule. So here's what this will look like. Um, I measured a telephone pole. So here is my telephone pole. I don't like that pencil. Here's my telephone pole. Pole. And that is some measurement that I don't know. Now the sun's up here. Casting a little shadow. And so the sun's rays make a shadow on the ground. So there's our shadow. And what you find is, because this is perpendicular, there's a right angle here, but that basically forms a triangle. And this hypotenuse right here doesn't actually exist, but we need it for our similar triangles. Now here's me. There, 
here's me. And again, the sun's in the same place up here, making a shadow on the ground. Here's my shadow. So now we remember what we measured. So uh, the shadow of the telephone pole was 16 feet and my shadow was four feet. I know my height, and this is the key. You have to know um, at least one of the heights that you're talking about. And I'm just going to, I don't actually um, measure up to six feet, but to keep this problem simple, I'm going to say I'm six feet tall. So what we have here is two similar triangles, and the things that correspond are my height corresponds to the pole, and the shadow's height, of my shadow height, corresponds to the um, pole's shadow height. So you can already see that the um, scale factor between me and my shadow and the pole and the pole shadow is going to be four. And here's how you figure that out. The scale factor is 16 feet for the new figure over four feet for the old figure, which equals four. So what that means is everything in the whole scenario is going to be four times as big as the um, my scenario. So the pole height is going to be my height because I correspond to the pole times four, which is 24 feet. Now it just turned out that my numbers worked out nice and neat, that my scale factor was a whole number and that my height was a whole number. It's okay if you end up with a decimal for your scale factor or for your measured height. Um, so just remember when you, when you are going to find the height of some object, you need a comparable object that you can measure the height of the object and the shadow. That could be you, that could be a smaller shrub or something that you can actually measure the height of, could be your dog, your sibling, uh, you choose. Um, and what you will be doing is setting up a problem similar to this, showing the triangles and showing the calculations to show the height of the object that you are measuring.